Hey guys, what is up? I'm the guest of Gengar, and as you can see right behind the Gengar animation, there is a little window for a trailer. And the reason why is because there is a new Pokemon that has been released this morning, and in my opinion, was released way too early in the morning because I am tired as hell. I just got done playing Terraria basically till 3 in the morning. I know that's my fault, but hey man. I can't be waking up at 5 in the morning each time they want to release a new Pokemon. It's kind of insane. So let's hop right into this trailer and hopefully let's see what we got. Oh wait, no. I, you'll see. Shut up. Shut up, man. Poison's new Pokemon and it is... Salandit. So Saladin Sa is a poison fire type. Obviously he has the ability Corrosion, which means... Well, you'll see in a second that he can poison all Pokemon types. Corrosion specifically says poison and steel. Now, I don't know if this works on Ko Komala. I, I almost called it Neko Koala. I don't know if this works on Komala because, again, the whole drowsiness thing. And right now I'm really digging Salandid. Um... Uh, yeah, we're gonna see him attacking Neko Koala, which, I mean, it's pretty cool. I really like his animations, they're really smooth. Alright. So, that was what we got, and let's see, let's move back for a second. Let's get that Salamander. Whoop. Yeah, let's get all this up. Alright, so, the first thing that came to mind when I saw this Pokemon is, alright, what is a poisonous lizard in Hawaii because there's got to be some I know that for a fact and when I looked up poisonous or I looked up Hawaii poisonous lizards that burn or, or yeah lizards that poison burns and the two things that popped up were the gill monster and the Mexican beard and lizard I don't know if these are officially what it's based off of I can't really see a gill well I, I can see kind of both mostly the Mexican bearded lizard but when I scroll down uh, I just saw that the force of the jaws of the lizard can be crushing comparison injury causing severe swelling and may damage underlying tissue and the symptoms of the sight of a poisonous lizard burn may be a moderate severe burning swelling that gradually gets worse over time you know teeth that lift and wounds and I thought I was like all right whatever that's it's nothing and then I saw throbbing or burning pain which immediately makes me think that this is exactly what this Pokemon is based off of. And let's hop into his little bio. So again, Slandit is the poison fire type, the toxic lizard Pokemon, only two feet tall, weighing, uh, weighing 10 pounds. His known move so far is toxic, even though he did use a fire move in the trailer. You know that. Um, Slandit emits a toxic gas together with its flames from the best, uh, from the base of its tail, this poisonous gas has a sweet smell, and anyone who is unknowingly breathing it in will bre uh, become dizzy. Uh, Slandit is not very powerful Pokemon, but its cunning nature allows it to be, uh, battle fiercely by throwing its opponents off balance. Uh, Slandit's females not only release toxic gases, they can also emit pheromones that attract males of all species, including Pokemon and humans. Inhaling the, uh, the pheromones may cause the opponent to be controlled by silent, uh, Slandit's will. So right off the bat, we already have a plot for a Pokemon episode. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the design of this thing. I'm uh, gonna take the video down right now, so bear with me. Nope, wrong one. I'm still getting to know OBS. And I really like the design of this thing, especially like the red base on the tail. It looks, it definitely gives it like a lava look. So what I'm thinking this thing might evolve into is a like volcano salamander or like iguana or something. I know they're two different species of animals, but I, I don't know. It's happened before, I think. Um, I really like how it is based off a bandit and its like face and little neck area resemble a bandit mask, along with the our claws. I almost called it paws. The claws resembling uh was and again i'm gonna i really like the red mark on the back it's definitely very fitting of a salamander or a lizard to have something like that i've i've seen a few i've seen a few reptilians in my day and you know they've all had some kind of like weird pattern like that 
And I think it's a really cool one because it also kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever seen these, but there's like a gecko symbol somewhere where it's really just the hand of it and it's just like a slapping thing. But yeah, that's, so that's the only thing we have about Slanded. Hopefully we get some more news in the future very soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, enjoy the news. I'm sorry you couldn't get it too sooner, but hey man, I gotta get some sleep. So until next time, bye bye